So today we're looking at an LED replacement bulb for your fluorescent fixtures. We're looking at a four foot tube replacement right here. And what you're seeing on the on the table here, I'm just gonna set this down and see the instructions that come with this. Now this replacement tube is from Nature's Electric Ink. And what this is, again, is an LED tube. We're looking at the back, there's the front there. It's kind of got a milky cover on it. And the other pieces that you're seeing here are the packing materials. It comes in a uh, about a four and a half foot box. It comes in a, a PVC type tube. Inside that is a cardboard tube, and inside the cardboard tube is your light. The light, again, is a replacement. My pup's down there running around checking things out for your current four foot tube. Now, what I liked about this one is that I had to rewire. And I have the instructions here, everything you need to do the rewiring. Basically, with this system, what you're going to be doing is taking out the ballast. So you're going to be wiring one end, say you're going to run the hot to one end, and the neutral to the other end. And that way, you've got your, your light bulb ready to go. Now, what I want to do is just give you guys an idea of what the difference is between this bulb, which is a 22 watt, a traditional four foot is about 40 watt. We have 22 watts of LED power, but we're not using a ballast. So that's that's a key thing here. Um, by the way, there's some stickers here after you've done the rewiring, little stickers here that basically say, hey, don't use standard fluorescent tubes. You can't use those anymore. Kind of cool stuff here. So we're gonna jump over here because I've got one of the four foot lights already rewired and set up, and we're going to see how much energy it takes using a kilowatt. So here's our fixture. We have a four foot fixture with two of those in. Now, when you get these, they're of course are all the packing, packing materials and such, and then they have a little plastic film. And I didn't quite get all the little pieces out. I'm not exactly sure how you get that plastic out from the ends. It's kind of a pain, but you've got to peel that plastic film off. Otherwise, you've got that coating on there that just doesn't look quite as good. But as you can see, it's kind of a milky cover. It comes at about 4,500K which is a little bit, you know, it's not soft and it's not a, you know, it's not a warm white, it's not a cool white, it's kind of in between. I kind of like the 4000 range myself. But let's take a look at the kilowatt here if we can see this. This fixture right now is using 37.5, 37, let's call it 38 watts of electricity. Just under 38 watts. Now we're going to go to the other part of the room where I've got a very similar fixture. It's the same fixture, I've just painted the shroud a little different color, but it has fluorescent tubes and it has a ballast. So keep this number in mind, under 38 watts. And above my workbench, I have the traditional fluorescent tubes, the same fixture, same ballast that was in, I mean, it's the same light about the same time. I just painted this one black, where can you see? There it is. I just painted the top black to give it a little bit different look over here four foot fluorescent tubes and of course these are the 40 watt tubes you can you, know, you probably can't see it but they're 40 watt tubes so let's come down and check out and see what we're using for wattage okay right there you're seeing i'm going to turn the light just a little bit more there you go so we were using just under 38 over there and now with the fluorescent we're using 96 a little over 96 watts so let's just round both of them up we're using 97 watts here we were using 38 over there. So you're talking approximately 60 watts different. For 60 watts additional power being used by these fluorescent lights in that ballast, we're really not getting any more brightness than we are with the LEDs. So there's our test. We used approximately just, a, just shy of 60 additional watts when we are with a fluorescent light with the four foot tubes compared to the LED. Again, the fluorescent was using ballast, this is not. Now there are a lot of LED options, replacement bulbs where you can leave the ballast in, but now you're going to have a ballast that's gonna be taking some energy, plus the bulb's taking air energy, so you're losing some of your efficiency. I'll put a link in the description where you guys can go and check these out. These are the bulbs though that we picked up here, and geez, color, brightness, I'm really excited and really happy about these bulbs from Nature's Electric Ink. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman.